Yeah, it's kind of. So, the ferry is a first of all, it's awesome because because mm-hmm. everything he was, uh, but not he. He was what? Connie was try, uh, trying to uh, give an idea to well, the people. I think it's I mean, not. I mean, I mean, I mean, there's if I if my memory was right, there's there was never such a director to give up to show the story like that. Yeah, but 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 like the story is about a black guy who is free, and that is definitely not true. I mean, whatever black. Person at that time had a paper saying they're free. I don't think they were they actually get killed or kidnapped or something. Well, uh, I think the, uh, the, the film, the real meaning of film being made. What do you yeah, a, part, a, part of, a, part, a part of making film is it's about building a dream. Yes, yeah, this is a story that never happened <laughs> before, but, uh, but trust me, this, this is why we made it. If this thing can come true, right? Wait, what? No, no, I'm talking about the story about a black yeah, guy I, I, being free at that I know, time. I know, I know what it is. So you actually agree that if during that time a black guy can be free? Can be free. He can be free. With a paper? I don't know about the history. Like, let's say you were black at that time and you only had one paper to prove that you're a free man and then you're allowed to walk everywhere. Oh, well, that's, that doesn't really... I don't think that's... It's possible. I mean, at that time, like, still black, it's just, it really doesn't make sense because uh, they were seen as slaves, they're a minority, so I think that even though you have a paper or whatever you have, you still be taken or killed or whatever. You just yeah, be back in that time, people, they don't value black people's lives. Just kill them. So, like, you're saying the movie is um, just normal, plain, and you like the movie? No matter how long it was, well, it is an amazing movie, of course. But well, like the story I'm talking about think, the story. Well, things like that. A movie, it has a good story, good shots. So that uh, means it's a good story, it's a good movie, right? Then we just watch and enjoy it. It is a good movie. I'm talking about like what if in reality. <laughs> that doesn't. I don't think that that will happen. I think that would happen. That was like many years ago. Yeah, so I don't think that would happen. That would have. Okay, but okay. I literally don't know what to say, Joe. <laughs> okay. I don't so, think so, you, so, you got my so, point. This is the time that I feel that I feel embarrassing because I always think that my English was is is actually pretty good in my the people at my age. Now I feel I'm shocked, but <laughs> anyway. What? I guess I just can't talk about things like that. What are you talking about? Well, I feel shocked right now. Because I, I didn't I didn't do it very well. Because you can't you can't understand what I'm saying, right? I don't know, you got out of that's that's off topic, what are you yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about myself, anyway. <laughs> Why you make me do this? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> because I know you're talking about Quinta and Tarantino's Django. Django Unchained, and then... But, uh, Quentin, Quentin is... He's, he's a weird... A weird director. Excuse me? Yeah, he's a, he's a weird one. What do you mean a because weird one? Tim Burton is a weird one, not Quinta and Tarantino. Oh, a strange one. Anyway, they're all the same, because... Tim, he he was he he's a he's a quiet guy. He has amazing thoughts in his head, right? Like so, any other director, it's like it's amazing. What do you mean? Well, is he can is he can make a cartoon with a scare or with, make a scary cartoon movie. Yeah, yeah. like uh, any other cartoonist or animators, like Seth MacFarlane created Family Guy. Yeah. Um. And he also created Ted. Ted, yeah. Yeah, I love Ted. Not the second one, just the first one. Yeah, just but yeah. that means uh, that that doesn't make Tim Burton special. We're talking about Quentin Tarantino, the most amazing director of all time. Yeah, but he, he's still strange, because he he thought he thinks that he's a he's he's a black. That's why he used so so many animals <laughs> in his movies. Ooh. And this 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 is not 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 a very regular regular idea. Because he, he's, 
he seemed black as bad. I mean, every 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 kind of people what? they were they were fear, right? What queens are trying to use his bad? Yeah, that's that's what you're saying. And and he loves food. Did did you read that somewhere, or did someone tell you that he does? I read it somewhere. Where? Uh, uh, IMDb website or. Whatever. So you. On IMDb, they said that Queen Chantara and Tuna thinks is black. Yeah. IMDb, the an official website, they said Queen Chantara thinks is black. They said that. I'm gonna have to Google that. <laughs> we, we, no, he doesn't yeah, think yeah. he's black. He's just a normal character, like making amazing movies for people like us who love movies, like Django, and Glorious Bastards. Yes, he's creative. Creative. And he's amazing. And yeah, and have you noticed that he's in every movie for like a couple of seconds? Yeah. But... Like... You've seen it once upon a time in Mexico. No, no, no. Desperado. Desperado? Yeah. Antonio Banderas and... Uh, oh, oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Johnny Depp. But... <laughs> His film gave... Give people a, a, I don't know, maybe just just me. I feel his his movies. It give give me a, a give give they give me a, a cheap feeling. I don't know why because they use. They, they don't, they, he doesn't do like uh, his his movies are all. They, they don't do modern shows except. Uh, his first, uh, his, uh, fir his first movie, and uh, other. What was his about... first movie? I don't know. I don't know the English. How name. many movies have you seen, like from Quentin Tarantino? He direct. He have direct eight movies till now, right? How many of them have you watched? Ah, four. He, because he loves... Which movie made you feel cheap? I don't understand. Django? Django. Why? Why would you... There's no Chinese in that movie. I know. They, they shoot in the wild. In the west, in yeah. In the west. In the, in the desert. Right. Make me feel cheap. I don't know why. And... and, uh, and so he, the he, movie he was loves... shot in the west exactly like what... Um, slavery was like a couple of hundred years ago. 400, 300 years ago. Now... How does that hmm? have to do like anything with your feelings? What? What does that have to do with anything like with your feelings? Why? Why are you hurt? I don't hurt. Because of the slavery? You said you you were. Yeah, it's 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 actually kind of a little. I I watched when I was uh when I was, you know, fifteen, fourteen years old. That's a little bit. That was a little bit too much for me. What? What? Which one? Django. The first time I saw Django, I was 15, maybe 14 years old. So that was a little too much for me. Are we talking about the same Django? The movie that came out in 2015? Yeah. yeah. How old not, are you now? Not, not 2015. That was came out from 20... That, that movie 20, came out 13. 2013. 2013. So you were 13 years old back no, then? No, I was 15, 16, like that. Because I'm 21 now. It was a little bit too much for me, and my parents just 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 got, uh, got divorced. Just made me feel a little, made me feel bad about uh, about that. But but but, but but after a few years, uh, in twenty fifteen, when I watched it again, I feel I feel very I feel I feel amazing when I was watching it. A different feeling. And and Quentin Tarantino, he's a guy who loves old movies. Right? Do you know that? Loves old movies. Classics. Yeah, not okay. not not classic. Old movies. Cheap movies, old movies on the ground. Anyway, anything, yeah, um, anything. He 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 watched every everything he can got. He uh, he got back in the days. So his films, his films make make you feel a little a, a little old because he look up for the uh, for the old mo uh, movies. So, it gives it give people a strange feeling, like you are watching uh, an old movie came out 
came up and came out in 1960s, 1970s, and you watch it in a modern uh, modern cinema. Mm. And too much like any of the other movies. No, not like any other movies. Yeah, most of the movies, like any other directors, can like there are thousands of movies like that. Yeah, but Christopher, uh, but Nolan doesn't doesn't do that. He he did a, he create. Cr yeah, he very, reads comic books, so he brings them to the movie, he to the cinematic universe. Huh? He just his his Batman films, The Dark Knight series. We're talking about Christopher. I, no I know. I know. I I was making. I was trying to compare. His, yeah. Christian Tarantino. Yeah. Okay. So that's why I prefer Christopher Nolan's movie. Oh, because, because you're a huge comic book fan, right? And he he shot the movie in a modern way. Couldn't use always use because the, the stories are like that. But he wrote the story. What do you mean he wrote the story? He doesn't. He never wrote the comic book. He he no, takes the story. He changed the story. He never created I, the characters. I say, but I say I say, Quentin Tarantino. He wrote. All his yes, steps. Quentin Tarantino wrote. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what are we talking about right now? Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to listen to you now. because you said that Quentin Tarantino's movie has something to do with your feelings, making you feel cheap. Yeah. I don't understand how, but okay, we're past that. Because when we were talking about the movie Django, and I'm trying to figure out that like how it made you feel cheap. Because for some people, it's like an inspiration that a black guy, blah, 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 he, he just showed that, he proved that he can be a free man. And I'm saying that maybe in reality, that could, that could have not happened because yeah. at that time, if any black guy stood up for himself, maybe he got, that person could get killed. But still, Possibly. the story is awesome. And I'm trying to figure out like, how it has anything to do with your personal life. <laughs> Just, just a feeling doesn't, it doesn't really matter. So, <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm trying to copy the movie for you. you have you watched um, any like Chinese, Chinese American oh. movies? Like? Chinese American movies. Like yeah, like the. You know, Jackie Chan is like yeah, in yeah, China, yeah. and then have Rush you seen movies like that? Ah, Rush Hour. Yeah, like maybe something different, not like Rush Hour. Like mm. Romeo Must Die. No. Like no. Chinese gangs. <laughs> and that. black black gangs, Chinese gangs fighting. That could have like maybe do something with your feelings mm. of how people were treated treated like. <sighs> No, not really. But you watched it. You watched Romeo Must Die. No, I've never seen that. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, now, you, now, uh, now you, you're making me look stupid. No, I'm not I, making you look stupid. Anyway, I am stupid. Anyway. No, you're not. <laughs> what are you? Why? Why do you do that? Why do you have nothing is personal. You know, it, Don't since, take anything tonight, personal. Tonight, tonight just, just broke all my proud. <laughs> because because I I thought my English was good. <laughs> it is. It doesn't have to do with your English. It's just that nothing is personal. Don't think anything personal. It's not personal. All right, all right. All right. Anything. I just I just say I just say, um, not. Quentin Tarantino is different from Chris or David Finch. Directors like that they shoot movies in modern way. Say. They show modern stories, as you say, like that. And uh, Quentin, he, 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 his movies, the stories he created, was about mostly about uh, like, like uh, civil war, like the hateful eight and jungle, and and World War Two, like what what the what the glorious battle. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, and and a horror movie. A horror movie. He worked with uh, the director of the Sin City. Was he's got very long. Robert, what? Rodrigo. So 
So, so I think he's a he's he's a strange he's a strange a director. I love his movies. I love his stories. But uh, but if you want me to pick a favorite, I still pick mod uh, modern directors like Chris or David uh, David Finch. So so. Uh, I don't understand modern or not. Modern so stories just being in the city with a suit, use guns, things like that. You've seen Dark Knight or Seven, right? The Earth Finch, Earth Finch movie, the, the, the girl with the, with the dragon, dragon tattoo. You've never seen any of this? I've seen all of them. Yeah. That's, that's what Do I Do you know Peter Jackson? Yeah, I know. Yeah? And I don't like his movies. Excuse me? I don't like his movies. What do you mean you don't like his movies? What's your problem with his movies? There's nothing... Uh, he uh, is the most creative director ever. He didn't ever. create the story. He did not create the story. He yeah, read yeah, the yeah. book like because any other people would not read the book. Do you... He read the book of J.R.R. Tolkien, the most yeah, amazing, yeah, yeah. the father of fantasy stories, and then he yeah. changed into a movie. In know. the year, people were not able to do that kind of movie. He did those amazing Yeah, I know. What are you talking about? Yeah, I know. I just don't... Maybe I just don't like fantasy movies like that. You don't like fantasy movies? Do you like sci-fi? What? Sci-fi. Yeah. And not fantasy? Though both are non -fi both are fiction. I don't know, I just don't like the Lord of the Rings. Is that, is that <laughs> you don't like the Lord of the Rings or you don't like fantasy movies? No, I don't just don't like The Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I just don't like the Lord of the Rings. Oh, it's three parts. Yeah, see how, what see about how, Harry Potter? See how, see how I like I like Harry Potter. See how amazing. But for some reason I just don't don't I just don't like it. I don't know why. Oh yeah, that's your opinion. Yeah, people's opinion. Alright, I guess that's all. Yeah, and we were done like a couple of minutes ago. I just don't understand why you still... Why, what's your reason not to like Lord of the Rings? It doesn't really... It doesn't really mean that reason. Oh my God. What's, what's your reason? It doesn't need a reason, I just don't. Like... Have you ever... Didn't, didn't you... Uh, hit a hit a kind of movie is like Twilight, and I have a perfectly good reason. <laughs> the book and the movies. Can I explain why? Alright, alright. Right. No, we're done. We're done. Leave